After all the months of planning and work, it had finally paid off. And we had hunted hard. And the guys and I felt like we earned this. It's just amazing how many months go into a minute. It's hard to know where one season ends and another begins. As soon as we're hanging up the gear, we're fletching arrows and looking for sheds. And then it's time to fertilize and plant the food plots and get the trail cameras up. Start surveilling the herd and practicing your shots. We can never practice enough. You just never know when that one shot will be your only shot of the year. As the rut approaches in the Midwest, we're all thinking about Illinois. Our historical success there and the memories we've made have just made this a constant presence for us in November. And that travel's made even better when you have video camera evidence of good mature bucks on your property that are going to offer you some targets this year. As we pulled into Illinois this year, we knew we had some hammers that were running around. I don't know about you, but every time we go into a spot, there's ghosts. Memories of almost and could have been or actually did. This spot is no different for Tom. We're going to uh, sit high tonight and we're going to glass these fields and we're going to see where the big ones are going. As he walked into this set, I know what was on his mind. Last year, he narrowly missed a chance at an Illinois bruiser. And those kind of memories die hard. A flicker of an ear, a glint of antler, and it's happening. But as they so often do, this buck has found its way into the tightest worst spot for Tom's stand. Worse yet, he's downwind. But this old timer plays his hand well and lives to see another day. And all of Tom's months came down to that minute. He would not draw his bow back again that season. Well, I was heading to a ground blind that we had into a funnel that showed a lot of activity on the trail cameras. And particularly, a buck I had been watching. Well, it's really cold today. It's about seven degrees. And we're in a ground blind tucked into a, a finger that feeds a lot of doe bedding areas. Have a couple does coming by here. Well, in the misty snow, I thought this might be that buck. But as he got closer, he was obviously a two-and-a-half-year-old that needed some more time. Well, the wind direction the next morning made it easy for me to know where I was going to go. There was a scrape on a field edge that the trail camera showed was being visited by a great buck, and we had history. It's amazing how on edge perfect conditions can make you. Because you know at any minute, that could be your minute, and they rarely come twice.
and then a nervous doe appears. And there's obviously something bothering her. A flicker of a tail and a glint of antler, and it's time to get ready. In golf, you get 85 chances a game. In our sport, you get one. You've had all year to make it count. I'm down out of the tree. I've got a pretty good blood trail here. We've got one down here. Becker closes the deal at 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Here you can see right here. Must have fence. We've got blood on the tree. We've got blood on the fence. It's been a long season, huh, Tom? Absolutely. And it's been seven, eight, nine days. We've been up in stand, a long, long period of hunting. And man, it's just one of those things. Finally, 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 everything comes together, right? And that's it. And the cycle starts all over again. And you start planning and practicing and crafting so that next year you can be ready for your minute. <laughs>